yes welcome once again this is video learning uganda and we're looking at the topic of construction repeat after me construction we're going to look at construction and we have a guiding question to take us through this topic and as you can see part a of this question uh, which should be focused very well on the screen right there we are having using a ruler and compasses only construct triangle P Q R in which P Q is 6 centimeters angle P Q R is 120 degrees and angle Q P R is 30 degrees so you need to know how to geometrically construct all these angles and that will allow you to do this number very well and then part B we shall look at it uh, when the time uh, comes so let's begin with the first part. Normally, these numbers, we begin with a sketch. So we have to make our sketch of this drawing that we are going to have. And in our sketch, let us see how to have the sketch. Remember, they told us to have this triangle and PQR is 120 degrees. So we shall begin with that angle so we make a sketch and our sketch will be as follows we're going to have this sketch you can use a ruler if you very accurate with me you can use your free hand no problem this is a sketch and uh, this will be uh, p you can call this part p and then q but then from q you need 120 degrees so you have something like this right and uh, it will follow that length so let's use a ruler it will take this length like that that's about 120 degrees remember this is a sketch so automatically we shall now need to join our uh if that's the case then it means r of course is here then we join this like that and of course the length given to us only is pq which happens to be 60 centimeters this angle has been given to us also the angle qpr is also 30 degrees so when you make up 30 degrees and 120 uh, we have to have a complete triangle this is our sketch we call it the sketch so you need the sketch and the sketch will guide you in this particular drawing so how do we then continue to have the accurate drawing the accurate now we need to pick up our pair of compasses yes you should have your pair of compasses this one very good uh this is a nataraj type you can also have pick fair and others uh, which are good there on the market now we're going to begin by also getting our ruler from our set remember you must have a mathematical set like this one a good one like this one this is nataraj it's really good uh, it can keep your tools very well you need to have a sharpener uh, rubber just in case but i don't encourage rubbers you need to be accurate enough and avoid rubbing rubbing because you need to produce neat work uh, a, a, a divider is also around for checking i mean getting those measurements uh, in case you need uh, we shall see how to use it and then also we shall need uh, in from this set we shall of course need this how do we call this hey i know some of you have forgotten uh, because of the lockdown but this is a protractor the protractor so we shall need it to confirm our angles now in our actual drawing we are going to begin uh, by following our sketch that's the importance of sketching so in our sketch we are going to begin by drawing up a horizontal line here a horizontal line like this and then on this horizontal line we are going to mark off at the extreme end of your line that one we are marking off is the point p okay is the point p and then from p we need six centimeters many ways of doing this you can put your ruler right there like this and then measure off six centimeters we really see where it stops it is right here so we mark off 60 centimeters here like that so it is uh, quite short this is a good drawing for you it's quite short that is six centimeters at six centimeters we have the point 
Q and we now indicate this is actually six centimeters because we're not drawing to scale but we're drawing accurately as given to us now on this side we need 120 degrees for angle pqr how do you construct 120 degrees on the other side since we need it this way we shall construct on the other side 60 degrees how do you construct 60 degrees look at this make an arc take your compass to any radius doesn't matter the radius uh, make that arc we made then from that very arc uh, we shall still at that point confirm that's the same make an arc also up here and then move to this arc on the line where you've been done that and uh, make an arc just as neat as that now we're going to join at the point at which we need the angle 60 to this intersection point of the two arcs like this so like that make it long enough you make it long enough but be accurate make it long enough we can confirm uh, by checking with your protractor uh, like this and when you use your protractor you actually confirm that um, this is 60 degrees now if this side is 60 degrees then this other side is 120 degrees which we need so we say this angle here as constructed is now 120 degrees that line goes up to the angle, I mean the point of R, which we don't know where it is, but we have another angle to construct that will lead us there. That is the angle of 30. So the angle of 30, how are you going to construct angle 30? Angle 30 is constructed by, again constructing this time 60 again at, at the point P. You do the same way as we did at the other place, uh, make an arc up and then come over here another point then make an arc again right there so that is 60 degrees but remember we don't need 60 degrees so we're going to join here but we shall make it short because it is not a required line of a line that is leading us to the angle that we want uh, but we just need it as an angle that will get us the 30 we want so this is 60 degrees here you can confirm using your protractor such that uh, the examiner doesn't cheat you in any way uh -huh. we see that actually it is 60 degrees now when we bisect 60 degrees you get 30 so now we're going to bisect that how do we bisect in bisecting we can take still any length but of course within the length that we have of the lines making the 60 degrees so we make an arc on one line and then make arc on the other line and then use the arc points on those lines to make other arcs confirm that you are at the intersection exactly so you make an arc there and then on the other arc you also make an arc make sure they intersect if they do not intersect go back to this one and make sure they do intersect like that so the intersection joined to the point that we want like this will lead us to the point R. So now we are going to do like this. Uh, from P, join through the intersection here, which is the bisection of 60 degrees uh, up to up. Now, indeed, we see, we can first confirm before then writing there, we first confirm how, mm, check with your protractor. Indeed, it is 30 degrees. So we have this one here now as 30 degrees and therefore, where the line of 30 and the line of 120 intersect is the point R. So we are through with our first part. Let me hope uh, this has been seen very well and let it be projected right to the screen and clearly you can see that. You remember as we do, you should also be doing this and this is a video. So you can pause, uh, replay until you have this very clear for you. So when we go ahead, our part B of this question, they were saying, from R, draw a perpendicular to PQ produced. This is a very interesting thing. PQ produced. And hence, calculate the area of triangle PQR. PQR. So that is very interesting. There is a calculation part. But remember today, we were basically interested in the construction bit of it. But that simple calculation we shall also do. So now we want to drop a perpendicular.
from R on to PQ, but now PQ is short. So this perpendicular is very clear to run around here, so it has to be produced. Meaning you have to prolong uh, the point, uh, the line PQ to enable us to get the point where the perpendicular will land. So prolong it a bit. So we're going up to here, somehow like that. And now how do we drop a perpendicular? So easy, get your pair of compasses. Put it right at R where you want to drop the perpendicular from and then uh, make sure it can make double arc on that line of PQ like that. Now use those arc points to construct 90 degrees. So we would put at one point like this and then prolong it to the other arc point like this and then when you make an arc up do the same come to this arc point put the needle right there confirm it is still landing on that very point then uh, like that remember you have to be accurate you, you do not need to be shaky and do not use compasses that are not firm enough fasten them and then you will have accurate drawing these are numbers where you can have maximum points so we are now joining this intersection point with r like that so we are up to down it is meeting p q produced this is produced so it is not it is outside the length of p q and indeed you can check for your accuracy no problem you're dropping a perpendicular so you have to check is it 90 degrees like we're saying i hope you're seeing and it is 90 degrees indeed it's 90 uh degrees so there we are accurate and we have dropped the perpendicular but they want you to use that to calculate the area of triangle pqr now when you look at pqr pqr is interesting it is not right angled but when we drop this perpendicular we now have a right angle somewhere here so this point has not been baptized so for us we shall baptize it s call it s pqr you go to s so let's call that point s now, RPS is a right angle triangle. RQS is also right angled. But the one we want is not right angled. So we shall get the one for RPS, the bigger one. Then get for the smaller right angled. When you subtract for the smaller one from the bigger one, you get the area of PQR, the one which is required. So that is so simple. Uh, we shall calculate immediately as follows. Let us see how to calculate. Uh, that one it is we're going to use our usual formula for area of a triangle remember area of a triangle area of a triangle is given by a half base times height but we need two areas before we can get the actual area required so we shall get area of uh, the first triangle which i told you uh, that was p q this one here, if you can see it again, we're looking for this PQS, PQR, but we shall first get PRS, the big one. So area of P triangle, this is triangle PRS, will equal to A half times the base. Now we don't know the base length because we don't know QS, that length we don't know it, but you can now find it. How? Uh, let's get our drawing closer and then state those lengths because we need them so how would you do this is where i told you we could now make use of our divider many of you don't use this so we now use this divider how to put at point s extend it to point r so this is our gap of the length which is required now we don't know what it is get back to your ruler very well your ruler should be there you can use a long ruler and then we confirm this distance uh, it is according to me here 5.1 so i'm going to use a black pen here this is 5.1 centimeters and then i also need this pq is already known it is six but i will need qs so let's just get qs because we need it as an independent value uh qs is right there so this is the gap that we need uh we go back to our ruler put at the zero mark and then see you find that is also 3.1 we're getting it at 3.1 centimeters that is for 2s only so therefore 
when we go back to our um, our formula now we need to fill in for the base we need to fill in for the height the height we've got is 5.1 and the base is running from p to s so it will be the 6 plus 3.1 that will give you 9.1 now there you have to utilize your calculator and get your area very very well and uh, that will give you a correct value for that i will request you utilize your calculators and uh, give us the value right there that is for p r s now we need also area of triangle r q s it will also be a half times base times height so this is now a half the base is uh, 3.1 and uh, the height is the same height that is 5.1 so we need these values from your calculator and for the first value if you've utilized your calculator very well uh, we had uh, 0 0.5 that is the half uh, time was 9.1 and then time was 5.1 if you utilize your calculator very well you realize that here you have a value of 23.205 and these are centimeters squared and then for the smaller triangle we have uh, still 0 0.5 this is a half uh, time was 3.1 and then time was 5.1 that will give you also an interesting value of 7.905 remember these are centimeters what squared so in our shape we those are not the actual required areas the area we want is for pqr so area now as explained before area of triangle pqr will now be equal to 23.205 minus 7.905 so when you subtract these two values you now get your answer we are saying 23.205 and we are subtracting 7. Point nine zero five you can use your calculator to confirm these values and we realize we are having a value of 15.3 centimeters what squared that is the area of our triangle required so we get back to our construction this was the calculation bit of this number but remember we are into basically uh construction we want to construct this number very well now the last part of this question we look at it they are saying Construct a circle that passes through PQR. If they can project it very well, construct a circle that passes through PQR. And then they wanted to measure its radius. Measuring the radius is so easy. A circumcircle. The one passing through those points. It is a circle passing through those points and it's called a circumcircle a circle passing through those points and it's called a circumcircle well, how do we get a circumcircle it is pqr that is required so bisect any two sides so we're going to bisect how do we bisect put your needle at one point on one side and then you maximize it the pencil should reach the other side uh, bisect so you make an arc make an arc make an arc like that then again at another point make an arc make an arc they will intersect so we draw and join up those two intersecting points uh like this uh, very well uh it may be sorry about the noise you're hearing in the background because we are doing it outdoor for clarity uh but hope we are clear and then we need to bisect another side so we can now bisect it's better bisect short sides so we shall bisect qr yes and fortunately qr is almost the same length as pq 
uh, yes, but was not required. They, we, they did not require us to state that anywhere. Uh, we do the same. Make an arc that side, make an arc this side. So take the needle to the other point. Now R, confirm that the pencil still reaches Q as you can see. Then make an arc and then an arc this way. You Remember you are bisecting the side PQ. I mean QR. We finished with PQ and now QR. So this is no problem. Get your, 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 your paper or your answer sheet. Uh, twist it and then see exactly where these bisectors meet. Uh, now uh, they are a bit too many. I beg your pardon. I just need to confirm to be accurate. Let's confirm one of them. You need to be indeed accurate and you need to know which bisectors you are using exactly. So we're using this one here. So this is the intersection that we are required to consider. Uh -huh. So I put like this and then join. So like this. Like this. Hope it's clear on the screen. And then here you have to confirm confirm that you accurate and once you've confirmed you can now continue so that is the bisector these bisectors will intersect somewhere the first one was this one then the second one is this so they intersect somewhere here so because they intersect there uh, put the needle there that is the center of your circle uh, take the pencil to P confirm it can pass through Q confirm it can pass through R because it has two that is the method so now if you've confirmed then you can now draw your very good circle as far as like this i will recommend you get this nataraj uh, type of of set it is really good it is enabled us draw an accurate diagram very well so that is ours we call it a circum circle but the instruction may be as it has been that construct a circle through pq and r and that is how we do just a recap of this what are we supposed to do when bisecting one? Uh, when constructing the circumcircle one, we bisect any two sides. Their bisectors will intersect. Where they intersect is the center of the circle. So, and then you put the needle at that point, extend it to the point, you'll find that your circle can go through uh, those points. And indeed, that circle, the way we drew it, this gap here, the gap between the pencil and the needle is actually the radius of your circle so what do you do go back to your ruler very well and put the needle at the zero mark like that and then stretch to see where the pencil stops this is at 6.2 i'm seeing 6.2 remember you're supposed to construct this and also confirm uh, this very well so what do i do uh, that was part c remember you have to label your work that was part c i can say radius is equal to 6.2 centimeters and indeed the examiner at this point will give you all the marks if i wish this can be brought clearly onto the screen and that marks the end of this example on our topic under two dimensions and we are looking at construction thank you very much this is video learning uganda remember always to subscribe for more of these videos on our platform. Be learning Uganda.